Hello guys, welcome back to Top 10s with Tobias. Today's Top 10 is Top 10 Rhode Island Town. Now, is that what it's called? It is. Don't worry guys, I know my states. So, at number 10, we have Foster. Foster is a very tiny town, as every other town in this state is going to be. Uh, they have JP's General Food Store, which totally doesn't look like somebody's going to mug you at all. Now, next up, in the state of Rhode Island at number 8, is going to be Richmond. Richmond. I mean, keep it real, guys. There's not a lot going on in Richmond at all. There's a couple of lakes. Um, they do have a school, but nobody lives here. Except for about what? Actually, wait, where are the... Okay, I found the houses. Um, as you can see, most of the people do live in the middle of the forest, so you are kind of secluded when you live in Richmond. But it's okay. It's okay. For number seven, we're going to Kayon. Kayon is a little bit more industrial kind of town. And by town, I mean they literally have nothing else. There's just this big industrial lot and then tiny houses everywhere. I would not suggest coming to this state as of so far. Now, for number six in my thing... I'm gonna go all the way up here, and it is got. Are there no towns up here? Cumberland. Cumberland is a much larger town than anything we've ever seen before. And I think it's because it's getting closer to some of the bigger towns here in Cumberland. Cumberland has a lot more going on, and they are. They still don't have a uh, fire department, guys. I think the United States needs to get on these people. They do have a community school, as most towns do. Uh, so that's it for number five. We're going dead center to Hope. I love Hope because they have a giant reservoir. That's it. That's the only reason you should come here. Nothing else here is worth being here for. Now, for number five. Four on my list, we're going to Kingston. Kingston is a suburb. Uh, well, kind of, it's kind of like a bigger town because they have the University of Rhode Island. Kingston has, I think, I think that's the town that it's in. It's not very clear about it, but I assume it is. Kingston is very sprawling. It goes for a very long while, and it kind of mixes with Wakefield down there. But that's it for Kingston. There's also a South Kingston, which I will include in that. For number three in our list, we have Austin. Why isn't Austin higher, you may be asking. This place looks like it's a lovely place to live. Well, they stole that from Austin, Texas. And I don't think that's very nice of them. Uh, obviously. Uh, so, yeah. That's why it's not higher. For my number two, Noose Neck. Um, if you like going around dirt roads on a bend to go around no Noose Neck Hill Road, then this is the place for you. Uh, you might hit a tree, though. Um, it does say Town Hall Road, but there doesn't seem to be a town hall on the road. So... Sorry, you might get a little lost. And now for my number one pick. You may be thinking, is it going to be Providence? No, of course not. That place sucks. I think that it's got to be Slocum. Now you may be wondering why. Because this field here, this empty one, you could play baseball in. Look how many... There's like four families living here. I bet all the kids get together and play football on that field. Football, baseball, all the games. They play them all. They play soccer, football, uh, airsoft, uh, nuclear testing, you know, that kind of stuff. And that's it for my Rhode Island Top 10. Sorry if this one's shorter than normal. This place sucks. I hate it. Never go here.